um, you know, one day this, this race is going to sort of flatten off. I mean, yesterday, certainly, we had, uh, what, 20 riders go, well, not 20, but we had uh, about 13 riders go away uh, from one from each team. That was the only standard uh, stage we've had so far, wasn't it? Well, it was, but um, you see, Frank here on the front of the group here just saying, listen, lads, you know, uh, come through. Um, but um, every day we've been saying that, well, tomorrow maybe it might be handier because uh, everyone's tired and everything else, but it's amazing. There seems to be an awful lot of riders still have the energy to go on and um, it just uh, surprises me to, to, to see the, the, the freshness of some of the riders like today the four climbs on the stage have already done two of those, uh, two of those climbs it, uh, everyone would have, everybody would have thought well here here's a, an ideal opportunity to do two climbs easy in the last two climbs just, just race for it where in fact what's happened is they've raced right from the very very start there's always been somebody attacking and this man is yet again under pressure day in day out they've attacked him uh, different teams having a go but particularly the Festina team and there's Bolts riding himself as ever into a frazzle to try and tow his teammate back up the last uh, time check we had it was some 47 seconds growing all the time well this this um, part here Dave now there should be like um, we don't actually know where these boys are here are they in front or in the back we don't know Dave but um, that's Hervey with that one so hang on they, they were with the Hervey was with the leading group so what's happened now um, it's difficult to say Dave is that they're coming over across the race radio either but um, I think what what what, what uh, Ulrich and Bowles should do here maybe is to get his team car up and ask him how far is the next group back with some more of the telecom riders in it if that group is not too far behind he's better off easing up and letting the, those teammates get back on again and giving him three or four teammates to ride with because what he's doing here is they're riding on the front here the teammates behind whether it be Reese or Touchlink or whoever it might be anyway they, they're going to be riding behind to get back on to knowing that their yellow jersey is in is in is in um, uh, in need of them, so it's really um, it's, uh, it's it's a difficult situation to be here. But coming across the race, the radio here, Dave, I, I think I understood that those two riders in front, if uh, Hank has let them go away, yeah, they've actually gone off the front. That's right, Pascal Levy wasn't has gone away together with why another Festina rider has gone away too, and it was uh, Roos as well. So the two uh, of the Festina riders, Irve and Roos, have gone away down the road, uh, whereas the yellow jersey is here. Being well, I can't understand the tactics in you. No, why Dave, would Festina send two I'm men totally down? Hey? I'm totally baffled. You know, they had, they had two men there with it. Okay, the, it was probably difficult to, they were, to, to to stay away to the end, but um, for the last um, ten minutes, minutes or so, their, their, their time has been going up all the time. So, um, you know, I don't know why uh, behind now has let us two men go away because this now is going to mean that there's nobody going to ride in the group here, and they're going to be caught by the peloton. So, it means the the effort he's brought in. Now he's, he's riding the foot, and they just just tell me not, I'm not seeing something wrong here. Like, you know, no, just, no, I can't understand it either. He sent two men down the road. Here they are. There's two team men. If he punctured now, he'd be in trouble. The yellow jersey would catch him. Sent these two off down there. When, in fact, if he wants to go around, he should have taken one with him or something. Jumped and done it. I mean, what's he trying to do? Do you think he can leave the bunch and come up these two and the, and the Festina at, at, at three, three hours ago? He's riding in the front now, Dave. You know, just, and I think they, you must be reading the different rule book than the rule book I've read, you know? It's, um, it's totally... You know, ridiculous what he's doing. I just kind of you gobsmacked. You no, know, I, I gobsmacked Dave. You know, I, I've kind of I've always doubted the um, <laughs> the uh, the race the way he reads races. Yes, yeah, we'll put it that way, but, shall we? Um, I mean, look at this. Look, 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 you know, he's look, look, look at Pantani. Say, what you? Yeah, two men in the front. You know, like yeah. this is just total. Like I've yeah. I've said, like people listen to Eurosport every day. Probably feel maybe I don't like you, Hank, and everything else. Well, I do admire him for what he's done, and I've said that in the last few days. But when you see the guy doing some things like this, like it makes you wonder. You know. Um, has he kind of read the rule book at all, you know? Well, Roos and Hebe are 22 seconds now. 20 seconds uh, behind Verong's group is Yellow Joe. So Roos and Hebe are still that 40-odd seconds away, these two, where he was originally. Yeah. He's allowed himself to sit up and let the Yellow Joe come and send these two blokes down there. We've still got something round about 80 kilometres to go. They've finished 50 miles. What the hell is he playing at? They're going to be caught anyway now by the, the, the 25 seconds back with Yellow Jersey. You can see here they're pulling over and they're, um, here they are getting up back on from there now. So the, the, the whole thing is over, you know. Um, the Hawk may, may, may say now, yes, I let the lads go to, to win the stage because he felt that um, Ulrich was, was riding behind and they would have caught them anyway. But I think, um, you know, at the time the lads went away, that wasn't at all in his mind. So I just totally gobsmacked it, say, Dave, you know. And, and the interesting thing was that, that Pantani also was asking questions. I mean, Pantani could see the, the chance to yeah. ride themselves. And I looked there, look, they were up. There's, I don't believe it. 
No, Dave, I think we maybe maybe there's a cross wire here somewhere or something. But um or the Fest Inner Watch has gone wrong maybe. But um, well, my Fest Inner Watch is still working. I've, I've, I've got as ever I've got one watch on each wrist. I've got two wrists, I must have two wrist watches anyway, but uh, yeah. the Fest Inner Watch you're quite right, they're not calculating what's going on at the moment. But uh, interesting in the uh in the keep this morning, big interview with uh, Stevens, he said